So uh, Dylan Heemskirk is from Westwald, uh, BC. Uh, just by Kamloops, yeah, beautiful little feedlot. Um, Dylan, it made him a little bit grumpy that he couldn't see the entire the entire screen in his loader. Well, in his loader, he's he runs a a lot of different commodities in his ration, and so so he he solved the problem. And just a quick update: uh, I now have four subscribers on YouTube. So thank you for all your support. Uh, I've made it, so um, we'll we'll keep you updated. So don't don't worry, you won't miss a thing. But yeah, we are up to four, so <laughs> almost viral. I'm not sure. Where that, I think it's 104 is, 106. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so we're gonna get Dylan to to talk about uh, how he hooked an iPad up in his loader, and uh, so he has access. Uh, from his loader to do whatever he wants, um, running multiple multiple uh, ingredients in his in his rations kind of takes a little bit of work. So we'll let him get set up. And Chris kind of gave me an introduction. My name is Dylan Heemskirk from West Oldview Farms. We're a BC customer. Uh, we run about three thirty five hundred head, and we're slowly expanding in that. Just backgrounding. Uh, we've been customers since twenty eleven. It was a little overwhelming getting going on that, but little bumps along the way. And Chris put up with me the whole time on that. Um, yeah, so I developed, or well, I never really developed. I just thought of the idea, like, we always had that little black remote. You just hit for next ingredient. And uh, I always got flustered with papers falling around in the cab and all that. And the old man calls me and asks how everything's going and I forget what I'm greeting time on. And so I came up with this guy. So I got the display right in the loader. So that's, that's our feeding pad and that, all our ingredients on there. That's the iPad setup. It's kind of a bad picture. little bracket on there. So I don't know, you guys have probably all used Team Viewer, I guess. But um, I had to make an account and all that and register each computer that I want to access. So I got my, my computers there. Um, I'll show you the feed side of it. So you can mimic the computer, right? That's kind of a bad video, eh? So that's while you're in the loader? Yeah, that's in the loader cab, getting set up to feed. So we enter all our minerals in as well, let your hand type it in, because we know exactly what they weigh and everything. Basically, it's a mirror of the... Uh, it's a mirror image of, in the feed truck, yeah. And you're using TeamViewer for that? Yep. So, and actually, I, I use TeamViewer on my phone as well. The old man calls me quite a bit on the weekends, on my days off, and he always has the issues, so... <laughs> <laughs> Seems like that. So that's a, that has to be a, a networkable... Oh, yeah. Yeah, the iPad has to be, um, uh, uh, it has to accept a SIM card, I guess, right? For a data plan and all that. So. You have that tied into your, your yards network? Is that right? Like, no. Your it's on my data plan. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, I was talking to James a little bit about networking, or you could do, set up a network inside the loader possibly, but okay. depends what a guy would want to do. If you're limited to cell net or cell signal and whatnot, it's kind of going to be a pain in the butt with the internet-based uh, iPad. What, what's the 
It's a process to get going then in the morning. It's just as simple as bringing the out. Oh. Um. I think he's got a little glitch. Yeah, no, you just uh, hop in the loader. It's always plugged in and just turn it on, log in. I think I have a login video as well. It just opens up TeamViewer and automatically opens it and you select what computer you want to connect to and good to go. It's not going to die on me, is it? No. <laughs> so this is after I'm done feeding. Last ingredient. Can do that, hit your timer and go pack more silage or do whatever you got to do. It's usually one man show for us for feeding. And can deliver our load. Um, another thing we use it for is bedding. Um, that's another thing we had paper. Had papers rolling around in the loader. All your pen numbers and how many buckets you put in the pen and stuff was it getting tracked and or recorded to go back down to Fusion Client in the processing room. So this works for that as well. And this is the start up in the morning, I guess. Open Team Viewer. And actually this one, I've got two, uh, this is a tablet, a Samsung tablet, and I got the iPad with me here. So we've got two loaders. One guy could be feeding, one guy could be uh, bedding, bedding the feedlot with sawdust. You all know my password now. <laughs> so there's your bulk add inputs, sawdust. And then fill your list and you're good to go. And it's pretty responsive with, when you push the buttons as well. I think the Windows 10 update on the computer helped quite a bit as well. Yeah. Runs a lot smoother. Well, yeah, you could. Well, yeah, I've done that before. Um, I've forgotten to update something with like my moisture, right? So I'll go back. I don't want to drive down to the office, right? So I'll just log on to the shoot side computer. So I'll have to exit to uh, Team Viewer and then select my other computer. But it's pretty simple. Sure. And then another thing is. It all depends on how your operation is set up. Say if you had a a treatment uh, a treatment shack or whatever you want to call it away from your main facility, you can take this tablet. You know what kind of medication or whatever you need, right? So you could go in, go out there, run out there on the quad, log in on Team Viewer on. Fusion client and pull up your job. And you could start your job. So for our, how our um, tags or um, the RFID tags, like we have RFIDs and then we have the management tag and each management tag is number one, two, three, four, and so on. So it's all linked to that RFID, so you can query it and I guess guess your weight and go from there if you don't want to bring your calf down. Like I said, depending on how far you're, you're away from your main processing area. So yeah, that's, that's what I've come up with to help with our operations, so.
yeah, like, um, once I made my account, I think you can zoom in on this. Once I made my account, um, I logged in on each computer that I want to access. Yeah, you, you're logged in. So like I got one tractor, we use tractors for a mixer, pull behind wagons. So there's two that are offline at that time. So, and then yeah, the top ones were online, so. Could you look up an animal's history if you're walking through a pen on your iPhone? You could, yep. With the data, well, I was tagging off it off my phone for, well, I've been using this since 2015 on TeamViewer. So I tagged off my data plan and then um, it was, I had a higher data plan and it was very minimal. I think like 500 gigabytes or I think that's what it was. So like small amount, like it wasn't very much data. So wasn't going over my bills. but. I can log in. It's a little different on your phone, iPhone or Android, I guess. It kind of uses a pointer. And this one you can actually touch anywhere on the iPad screen. So, like, to connect them, you touch the little arrows, right? But yeah, it works pretty smoothly for us. So.